Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in Paradise in Garfield, Texas, which I am just wasting away. Uh, it's a little too windy to be out there recording videos, so I'm hiding out in my filthy bedroom looking out the window at this gorgeous day, doing what I try to do every Friday. And it is now Friday, April 19th, 2019, where I'm in the middle of my ecological meltdown roundup rant, looking at all the ways we are so fucked this week, and uh, just wrapped up a particularly bloody roundup from uh, mangabay.com in part one. Go over there and listen to that, but we're going to keep on going. And we're going to go over to the uh, to the Center for Biological Diversity and the Washington Post for more examples of how this planet is heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour while your old eco-Nazi has just had his life uh, taken over with gas-sucking trucks. Alright, where do we go first? Shall we go to, uh, let's see what the universe is giving me here. Uh, we're going to start with the, let's start over there with the Washington Post. What's going on over there with those eco-Nazis? Their lead-off headline, <clears throat> Satellite confirms key NASA temperature data. The planet is warming and warming fast. No shit, Sherlock. New research from satellites indicates one of the most important climate data sets has it right. The data set saying we are so fucked has been confirmed. NASA has confirmed we are so fucked. Thank you, NASA. What is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez up to? AOC is doubling down on the Green New Deal. Oh, God. AOC believes she will be able to paint lipstick on a pig despite the Green New Deal's recent flop in the Senate. Okay, well, we have some good news for our disgraced Interior Secretary, former Interior Secretary, Ryan Zinke. Ryan Zinke has a new job. Yes, he has become a lobbyist for a, I'm sure this is some giant mining uh, corporation called U.S. Gold. U.S. Gold is seeking a leg up in dealing with the federal government. You know, there's this revolving door between uh, these planet-eating corporations and the federal government. Uh, th this is one place where eco-Nazis can sound like conspiracy wackos. There is no conspiracy about it. So we have Ryan Zinke. I can't remember, did he get shit-canned or did he quit his job as Interior Secretary to become a lobbyist for a gold mining uh, corporation, and meanwhile, this new guy, uh, Bernhardt, what's Bernhardt's first name? A anyway, you know, this new guy uh, is taking place of uh, Ryan Zinke. He was a coal lobbyist. Ryan Zinke steps out of the Trump administration to take a position as a gold mining lobbyist and stepping in to take his place is a coal mining lobbyist. And this planet-eating pig named somebody Bernhardt and wow, 
uh, why do we have four days after his Senate confirmation, he is the subject of a new ethics probe. The Inspector General's office said it is opening an ethics probe against the new planet eater of the du jour based on numerous requests from lawmakers and conservation groups. Yes. Okay, what's going on with our clean water in this country? Fifteen attorneys general on the on the state level, fifteen AGs slam Trump's move to limit federal authority under the Clean Water Act. The AGs oppose the Trump administration's move to scale back federal authority over streams and tributaries that feed into our nation's largest rivers. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, well, you will never believe that the EPA is speeding up its science reviews, and now the reviewers say it will not work. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm just moving. Here's an article on, uh, you know, that Taylor Energy oil spill down there in the Gulf of Mexico, which has been going on for 14 years. 14 years. Uh, this damn oil company, this oil spill, that will never be patched down there in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and now Taylor Energy is trying to reclaim millions of dollars set aside to clean up its 14-year oil spill. I mentioned last night about uh, David Attenborough uh, claiming we have 10 years to, uh, to avoid climate catastrophe, but I, I guess uh, the Washington Post read a different story than I did because they're saying uh, that they're quoting... David Attenborough, quote, what we do in the next 20 years will determine the future for all life on Earth. Uh, was, was I reading it wrong? Did he say 10 or 20? This is the Washington quote, Washington Post, a direct quote from David Attenborough saying we what we do in the next 20 years. No, David, it's what we've done in the past 20 years that has determined the future for life, for all life on Earth. All life on Earth is completely fucked uh, right now and of uh, what we've done in the past 20 years. And... Uh, it makes no difference what the fuck we do in the next 20 years. All your fucking little green new deals and the whole bit. Give me a fucking break. All right, from the Washington Post. Oh boy, I see my computer has eaten the, uh, the Center for Biological Diversity's Roundup. Let's try to get it back here from the Center for Biological Diversity's Endangered Earth News Roundup. They start off 
with suit filed to save 24 species from Trump and Bernhardt. At the end of 2018, the Trump administration missed its own agency's deadline for deciding whether to give Endangered Species Act to 24 species of animals and plants desperately in need of help. So, the Center for Biological Diversity just sued President Trump's Interior Department, now under the leadership of former coal lobbyist David Bernhardt over the dangerous delay. Hmm, quoting the center's Noah Greenwald, quote, if we're going to save species from disappearing forever, we have to act quickly to give them the legal protection they need. But the Trump administration is completely out of step with the American public, which strongly supports protecting our vulnerable wildlife. Bernhardt needs to let the Fish and Wildlife Service do its job. And there you go. Oh, God, is... Oh, that Monday is Earth Day. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Earth Day. Uh, I think we've heard enough stories on the orcas' habitat. Uh, yes, more stories on Trump's border wall and his bullshit emergency declarations. Uh, what's going on with Mexican gray wolves? Following Trump's illegal bullshit emergency declaration bypassing Congress to fund his bullshit border wall, the Pentagon has issued nearly a billion dollars in contracts for new construction, one contract for 46 miles of new barrier through an important movement corridor for endangered Mexican gray wolves, and anybody who thinks we're only talking about gray wolves, don't forget the bears, as Texas bears will also be hurt by Trump's new border wall. Black bears were wiped out in Texas decades ago. But now they have started recolonizing the Lone Star State from Mexico. But Trump's border wall puts their fragile recovery at risk. Yes, bears in the Mexico-Texas border region, already threatened by clueless fucking moron redneck Texans who are not used to bears, and are all too ready to shoot them when they do come back to Texas, need to be able to cross the border to flee drought and climate-related changes in their Mexican habitat, only to get to Texas to be shot by rednecks. Uh, but of course, they can't get to Texas because there's a fucking wall in the way. All right. What is the most endangered river of 2019? And the dubious winner of that award is the is New Mexico's Gila River, named America's most endangered river of 2019 as climate change and a proposed diversion project make New Mexico's Gila River our nation's most endangered river. And I can imagine the competition the Gila had. Uh, the Gila is the last free-flowing river left in New Mexico, and it supports riparian forest, cold water fisheries, and a rich 
abundance of wildlife and now of course they're getting ready to start diverting the water from the Gila to uh, you know for farmers probably to raise cotton in pecans in the middle of a desert more stories on uh, Trump's war on wolves I think we get it what is the center's problem with this new pesticide I'm not even going to begin to try to pronounce this new pesticide's name. It begins with an F for fucking new pesticide. Our problem with pesticides. A new study just found that a pesticide called fucking pesticide approved by the Environmental Protection Agency as safe for pollinators actually disorients and kills Honeybees. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, some may be tempted to blame the Trump administration for this latest EPA fail. Hmm. After all, its new Interior Secretary is under investigation for blocking a federal report on pesticides risks to hundreds of endangered species. But the truth is, our problem with pesticides predates Trump. As the U.S. pesticide regulatory system has always been broken. No shit, Sherlock. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I've, I've heard about enough of this, and uh, I need to get out there and enjoy this beautiful day, but I'm not going to be out there enjoying this beautiful day. I'm going to be dealing with uh, trying to get my, my hand on my own money locked up in PayPal since I have less than $25 to my name in my bank account. And that's what I get to deal with on this absolutely gorgeous day in paradise. So I suggest you do as I say, not as I do, and get out there and enjoy paradise in the end times while you still can. Because, as we all know, we are so fucked. Bye, guys.